Uh, g'day everyone, just packing for my next trip which is the uh, ABT double header. So I'm going to be away for 10 days and I wanted to show you one way that I save money on the road. It's kind of a, a simple hack but uh, while I'm away, um, one of the biggest expensive is obviously food. And uh, we're a family of three so uh, we generally cook meals leading up to the comp for four people. And and I put uh, one meal aside each night for the weeks leading up, stick it in the freezer, and then take it away with me. One of the biggest and easiest ways to do that is in the little tinfoil container. So I'll show you here in the fridge, uh, up in the freezer, just a upright fridge in the full drive here. And I've got uh, them all labeled. This one's a roast lamb, uh, all ready to go. And I'll show you how this works. I can fit six of them in the freezer and only take two frozen in there so they're thawing out as I go. But uh, I'll show you how these work. Nice and simple, I've got the pie oven mounted to the roof of the um, of the canopy and basically uh, all you got to do is turn your timer on. I turn it on for 120, just turn it straight onto high. I put them in frozen, so... And I continue on with my drive until that is smoking hot. Now you can see the current drawer on that is currently sitting at uh, about 16 amps. Uh, while I'm driving with the car, it actually um, doesn't draw any amps at all. It actually puts my uh, charge back into my battery. It takes about an hour and a half, so the hour and 20 minute timer is perfect. Um, I put it in about an hour and a half before I'm going to pull up. Um, and then just as soon as I arrive I've got a nice hot roast lamb meal. I also do uh, rice, say a, a curried rice or a curries as well in your uh, Tupperware style containers and I have a microwave in the in the back of the uh, ute as well so I can heat them up uh, you know two minutes and they're done so if you're looking at a roast lamb on the road you're, you're well over 20 bucks as I said I've got six of them in there um, so that's 180 bucks worth of on the road food which probably cost me you know under under thirty dollars in total so it's a massive save food does cost a lot on the road and um, this is just one way to save money on the road you can see in the back there there's a kick-ass inverter with the kick-ass control panel which runs everything in the back of the van that's teamed up inside that battery box there's a 110 amp hour lithium battery and that um, that is FPV power battery, the same as what I run in the boat. And um, just to an upright fridge here, um, which of course, as I said, has the freezer compartment. All the rest of the essentials will go in there when I leave and the microwave at the back. So being able to eat healthy on the road, everything here I've got uh, in the drawer, everything that I need inside the drawer. So this side's my cooking side, obviously. It's all lit up. Um, if you go around to the other side of, I've got my bed base in the, in that side there. So it's 1800 long and I'm not 1800 tall, so I fit in there. I also use a Wi-Fi repeater from Telstra as well. I carry 20 litres of water in there, but you can see this is the back side, this is a kick-ass inverter. And, uh, another cost big cost is accommodation so uh, I don't have to pay for motel rooms I can pull up in truck stops and when I get there I don't have to pay for cabins now uh, as I said uh, save a lot of money by sleeping in the back uh, you can go the rooftop tent option and everything else but I decided to put full kitchen in the ute um, but I'll, I'll put a cutaway up here on exactly how much I save by taking my own food and not staying in cabins but uh, yeah, you'll be surprised at how much you can save. When I fish as much as I do, I'll, I'll take any opportunity to save that I can. And, uh, of course, food and accommodation are two really big costs. So, the other one being fuel, but <laughs> I'm not sponsored by any of the fuel company, so maybe one of them will come along one day. So, it's as simple as uh, put the step on the wheel. And... Uh, Jumping up into bed. See you all on the next one.